Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm here with my process video for this scrapbook page. Let me set it aside and we'll get started. For this scrapbook page, we're going to start with a 12 by 12 piece of basic white. And then I've got my mask from the Plenty of Patterns masks. And we're just going to do a little bit of, um, I'm going to call it asymmetric blending uh, because we're not doing the whole uh, mask. Just want to pounce some of this Pacific Point ink onto my plate from my Stamparatus. This will keep the ink wet longer. And then just going to blend a portion of this on. And let's lift this and see what we've got. Just darkening up this lower bit here. And we've let it trail off at the top and fade out along the edges. And so we'll leave that as our piece right here. So let me move this out of the way and grab our next bits. Okay, next, we're going to use the Timeless Tropical stamp set. And I want to stamp a couple of things that I'm going to cut out with the In the Tropics dies to add to my page. So first are my palm trees, and I'm going to ink them with uh, my Stampin' Write markers because I want them to have brown trunks and green tops. So I'm using the side of my um, brush tip of my marker to be kind to my marker. Let's close that now and grab the brush tip on my garden green. I don't think I said the first one was soft suede. And just coloring across all this lovely palm frond detail. Now if you wanted a second go at this, you could put this in your um, Stamparatus. Now I'm going to huff on this so that my breath will re-moisten any of the ink that may have dried and give this a good rub all over. And I do want a second set of palm trees, so we're just going to do that again. So just a quick inking here with the garden green. Make sure you're using the side of your brush tip. And then grab my soft suede, and we'll have that second pair of palm trees. There's just a little bit up in here that I want to get. And huff again. Okay, so there's two sets of palm trees. And then next I've got the small pineapple stamp and we're going to color the top of that with the garden green still staying on the side of the brush tip and then I'm going to use my bumblebee marker on the bottom and then because pineapples sometimes have a little bit of green left in them, I'm going to take my garden green and just thump on a little bit. 
and huff and stamp and let's do that all again so let's do the bumblebee I'm going to go ahead and dump on some of that green from my granny apple green and then the garden green up here at the top for the crown of the pineapple there we go okay now let's stamp a couple more things so next I've got that plumeria blossom from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp it a couple of times in bumblebee and then let me clean this off and I'd like a couple in flirty flamingo and we're just doing enough of uh, little images to be able to uh, collage them together okay so we'll do three of those okay so let me take these and die cut with the in the tropics dies and I'll be right back okay so I've got the die cut pieces that we stamped earlier and I'm just going to set these out of the way over here and then bring my piece of scrapbook 12 by 12 over here and we're going to add a little more blending to this so I've got my Stamparatus plate again and this time I'm going to use a little bit of crumb cake ink and I'm going to tap it on here and then kind of brush it out a little bit because I don't want it to be very dark so and I would rather come back in and add some more then end up with much more than I intended on here. And as you know, blending takes just a little bit of time to get the shading that you want. So let's move this over. And I'm going to turn the camera off and add over here just as I did with the stencil, and I'll be right back. Okay, and next I have some balmy blue that I want to blend on. And I'm going to take that plate and turn it just a little bit and pounce on some of this balmy blue and then pounce it out a little bit because I don't want it deep and dark like our Pacific Point. And not looking for a perfect blend, just looking to add a little bit of color up here at the top. And it's possible that this bit of color will be more evident in person than what you're going to see on camera because it is very light. And we're creating a scene and not creating a scene at the same time. Okay. So that's enough so that it's not white, has a hint of blue up there. And we're going to start and assemble pieces at this point. So I have a Coastal Cabana photo mat. And I want dimensionals on my photo mat. Can you hear those noisy birds outside my studio? 
they're enjoying something today. Okay, so I'm not going to stick that down yet. Let's put that little backing piece on so it's not stuck to my piece here. Okay, and then let's bring in our die cut pieces and arrange those. And let's see, I've got a, a piece of one of my dimensional sheets over here that's got the edges left. And I'm just going to cut off a couple of these pieces without the points on them to use for my trunks on my palm trees. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting this piece down. Now I'm not removing the backing on this dimensional. I want the dimensional, but I don't want it to stick to anything since it's going to be over my photo mat here. And then we're going to take some of our pieces here the plumeria and lay that over the bottom of our palm tree oops And then the same thing here. I'm not removing these two, the backing pieces. Okay, now I'm going to slide this out and go ahead and adhere this now that I've gotten the things on that edge in place. I want to lift this up and slide this right back down pretty much where it was before. Okay, and now let's put these pieces in. I'm looking for my pineapples and they have stayed over on the other side here, but I'd like to add a pineapple to each of these clusters. And this needs a double stack and the backing piece doesn't need to come along with. So let's pull that off of here and give it a dot of adhesive up here at the top. Okay, and then let's start with this one. And this guy we're just going to put down with adhesive and tuck him under the edge. So a little bit of adhesive on each of these trunks. Okay. And give our plumeria some dimensionals. Now we're going to double stack this one at the bottom. And then this one we're going to leave the backing on because it's going to be over the edge of our photo mat.
and tuck our pineapple in here. And then out here on this edge, we're going to double stack both of these. Oops, if I can get the dimensional backing off. Okay, and then while I was cutting the pieces with the In the Tropics dies, I also used the Basic Borders dies and the dotted folder in the Checks and Dots embossing folder. And I cut some clouds to use on our piece. So let's add dimensionals to our clouds. One more here on the end. Okay, we're going to place this so some of that blended on balmy blue will show. And then let's add dimensionals along the way on this one. This page is for this month's scrapbooking blo global blog hop. And our challenge was to use all five things listed uh, for us. Okay. And there are my clouds. We need just a little more embellishment. First, I'm going to do the title. Let's move this out of the way. And for my title, I've got a piece of the foam adhesive sheet and a scrap of my basic white that's left from cutting my clouds. And I'm going to adhere that. And then let me find my snips here and cut this off and then pull my backing sheet back further and stick this on as well so that we maximize the number of letters that we can get from that. Okay, I'll be back with my letters cut and we'll proceed. So I've got my letters that I die cut with the playful alphabet stamps and they're on the foam adhesive sheet. But I don't wish for them to be strictly white. So I'm going to use my um, stamp and write markers and I'm going to use brush tips. Now you could have done this first uh, and then die cut the letters if you were using um, one straight piece of cardstock, but since I was using a scrap, we'll have to work this a little bit at a time. So I'm going to add in some of my Bermuda Bay light, and then I want my dark pool party, and I'm going to go over that Bermuda Bay so that it keeps it wet and we're trying for like an ombre like blend here. And then use my light pool party. Again, I'm going to go over top of both of these inks and pull down. And make sure we come over here and keep that edge wet as we pull ink down. And we have a little ombre beach or B here. So I'm going to do the rest of these letters and we'll be right back. So I've got my ombre letters and we're back with my page. 
and I'm going to use my ruler and the grid sheet here just coming on down to find a, a grid line on each side so that I can have my letters mostly straight so let me hold that in place and pick a spot and then just begin to work and of course you have to pull the backing sheet off of that foam adhesive sheet and it's important to spell the word in the correct order the E comes before the A And this one looks just a tiny bit crooked, not quite standing up straight. There we go. Okay, and here's this A that tried to sneak in early. I'll grab the C. And finally, here's our H. Okay, need just a little bit of embellishment here. I'm going to tuck in some of the white baker's twine in a fluffy little bow. Let's see if three loops is going to be just too much in here. And give it a short tail. And I forgot to tie it at all, so we're going to fix that real quickly here with just a quick little loop behind. I got ahead of myself, but as long as you didn't let go of that center section, all is good. So we'll pretend like we wanted it that way. Get those out of the way. Grab my take your pick to pick up a glue dot. My favorite third hand here. And we're just going to tuck this in and under so that it's fluffing out at the side here. I think I'd like it under my pineapple a little more, so I'm going to use my take your pick. Let me flip over to the spatula. That's a great way to lift dimensionals. There we go. And slide this under just a little bit further. There, so we have some of this fluffiness, but it's not just all out in your face. Separate that a little bit. And now let's take this out of the way. And I need some gems. Gems are the last thing that I need to use from the five things that we had to use. And I've chosen the gilded gems. We'll just tuck a couple of those in here. Oops. And maybe one more. Okay, and there is my In the Tropics beach page. Thanks for stopping in today. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your scrapbooking friends. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell, and you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. And if you're in the United States, please do some of your Stampin' Up! shopping in my store. Have a great day. Bye.